It was July 31st, 2017, when a fire broke out at a manufactured home in Benton City, Washington, which is 32 kilometers east of Kennewick and about a three and a half hour drive from Seattle. Sergio Hernandez lived in the home with his wife, Erica, their seven year old daughter, Patty, and 10 year old son, Alex. The parents were both employees at Aquilini Red Mountain Vineyards. The mobile home was staff housing on site. The children were both asleep when the fire started at 7 a.m. The parents were already working nearby when smoke started billowing out of the home. Sergio broke through a window, got both children outside, and then managed to escape himself. But his children were both badly burned, and Sergio also had burns to about a third of his body. Patty, the daughter, died weeks later, and Alex, the son, succumbed to his injuries in late January of 2018. Lawyers for the Hernandez family allege there were no smoke alarms in the home, and extensive alterations were made to the electrical systems without required permits or inspections. It's also alleged the boy and girl both endured horrific suffering before their deaths, and their father hasn't worked since. None of the allegations have been proven in court, and the Aquilini family has not yet filed a statement of defense. The Aquilini family did, however, release a statement. It says, quote, we deeply mourn the loss of these two young lives and the resultant burn injuries to Sergio when he and other employees tried to rescue the children. The Aquilinis go on to say they provided moral and financial support to the parents and relatives for eight months. The Aquilinis also allege the fire started minutes after Sergio Hernandez hit a junction box with his truck. A lawyer for the Hernandez family acknowledges he's heard about an incident involving a truck striking the box. But he says, however, whether that has anything to do with what happened will have to be investigated as part of the lawsuit. Jesse Johnston, CBC News, Vancouver.